Oh well. before Memorial Day um, and to my friend Chris Campbell a fellow veteran the story about the two squirrels in the electric light was hilarious thank you for sharing it with me um, I'm out in the office, which is evident. My son Christopher is coming over later um, to tweak my van and to work on the navigator. I've got both keys laying here on the on my desk. Um, my brother Christopher needs to go to Walmart later, so Linda and I will load up in the hot rod pickup and go do that. Um, I told my sweetheart I'm not going to be doing a whole lot today. Uh, yesterday was a good day. The day before, not so much. So I'm uh, here in a minute. I'm going to show you how big that TV monitor is. Spoke with my youngest adopted son, Matt, last night, and he's got a. a uh, he uses a television um, in his uh, in his office, and he hooks an HDMI cable up to it. This one over here is an actual television, but and it's got an HDMI hookup. And I did a lot of deep thinking, and remember now why I bought it. It uh, it's got a hookup on the back of it for a computer. I'll tell you what, um, let me grab a walking cane and uh, I might as well get the thing well it worked earlier. What's, there it goes. Um, here, I'm going to switch this around so you can see it. There you go. It's a really big television. It, uh, I have a ulterior motive as to why I hooked it up over there. I have two little grandkids, Zara Rose and Benjamin Jr. I call Tigger and what it boils down to I can uh, get them in here and on that computer I can load the toys channel and show Zara Rose how to click on different ones and she and Biddy Boy Tigger can sit in here and uh, be uh, watching that I don't think that is a, hang on a second, yeah, it's it's an enclosed system. I, uh, I've got a larger Samsung monitor over there I really like, but I'm going to keep using what I've got here. Um, everyone in America has someone they lost to war. Almost everyone. Um, 
I have friends that have passed on. Um, my friend Chris Kimball, so does he. I imagine all my friends on here that watch this have had someone actually uh, that was lost, you know, to war. War isn't... Uh, is an ugly thing it really is and when our savior comes back there won't be any more man's inhumanity to man is so profound it continues um i've been a little bit sick tomorrow's church i'm thinking i'm not going to wear a mask when i go to church i was uh, my pastor's over his illness. Brandon, my son, is over most of his, I think. Um, I just... Uh, I, I will do what I've got to do and just continue. That's how things work. Um, here in a little bit, I'm going to load my son Benjamin and his two kids up and go put some gas in the pickup, uh, something I am in need to do. Uh, that way I don't have to do it when my wife's in it and she doesn't have to get out or I don't have to get out and pump gas. And uh, I started my van while I go up, fired up just fine. Um, it's just got a little bit of motor rattle and uh, sent Brandon to uh, or sent Nick to work in it yesterday it's got a really good air conditioner and his Suburban doesn't um, and I'm going to sit my son Chris my son Nick down in have Chris explain to Nicholas one more time that it doesn't cost 1500 to put an AC or 1200 in that uh, Suburban of his. It, it can be done for about 300 bucks and if that's true we'll get it done. It's too hot here during the summers. Well right here it's not that much and uh, a lot of shade trees but still, when it's 104, 105 outside, you need an air conditioner in your car. Just rolling the windows down doesn't quite cut it. Um, oh, I, for, I better do this. My bank sent me a new credit card today, so I need to take the new old one I had and put it over there to make guitar picks out of. I was trying to figure out who was sending it to me. It was my bank. My old one it expires um, on the first. Now, um, I intend to do a whole lot of nothing today. I'm going to do a whole lot of nothing tomorrow, a whole lot of nothing on Monday. Um, I'm not getting lazy, it's I've been worrying my sweetheart and she's been a little terse with me about taking better care of myself. The constant running and having to ferry everyone around and do this and do that has had some bad side effects on me and she's noticed. She does that. She's a, a consummate caregiver. Somebody on a rice burner on I-35 just meh back behind me. Um, I noticed a while ago when I sat in the van, I started it and let it warm up. And I looked over where the old goat pen is. And the way Benjamin rigged that thing up is ingenious. It's got a pathway so they can get into that pen right there. Or they can run around over yonder on the paddock that he, he built, that he fenced in. And uh, that's all 
that's all really great. Well, folks, it's going to be a really short vlog today. I just thought I'd do one. Mom, love you and John. Love all my siblings. My brother Chris is doing much better. Um, he's uh, improving every day. He is. And having a television that's all his to sit and watch what he wants to is helping him. <laughs> That it, re it alleviates boredom, and it is boring sitting in a chair all day. He can get around some, and we're working on it so he can get around a whole lot more. Um, it's a bad weekend to try to get a hold of the, the uh, um, physical therapy place here in, or there in Davis, which is four and a half miles that way behind me. But still, um, or four and a half miles that way. I don't know. I'm inside. You get me outside, I never get lost. I always know which direction something is. I always know where north, south, east, and west are. I get in a building and I get lost. I know that sounds funny to most people, but Linda has always poked fun at me about that, justifiably so. I get in a shopping mall or someplace big and I don't know where I'm at on the inside of something. Um, I, I lose direction. Outside everything just hits me and I know instinctively where everything is because I was a woodsman most of my life. Now, before I get off of here, know this crazy old man with the funny hats. I got a new one today and it's actually too small for me. Uh, that's okay. I can give it to somebody that it won't be too small for. I need to get my granddaughter to launder all the other golf hats I got. Gatsby hats or whatever you call it. Newsboy hats. But anyway, know this crazy old man loves you. I do. If you're watching this, I love you with an intensity. I want you to thank God for your blessings. If you're thankful, that shows appreciation and it makes your Father in Heaven happy. And above all else, like that sign right there says, be kind. Always be kind. Bye.